Good morning. Um, so today <clears throat> I feel like a change of pace. Um, I think I'll um, have a little play with the um, elementary uh, six beta that was released um, a few days ago, actually a little while ago, um, and just make sure that my snippet pixie application um, can uh, at least compile um, on it and hopefully work. Um, so um, I've just downloaded um, the elementary OS build. Uh, when was it released? April 30th. So yeah, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I'm going to just uh, basically do a quick install, hopefully, um, if it works, um, and then uh, see if I can compile Snippet Pixie on it and see what happens. So let's, um, let's move the I will take that. And then let's think what am I going to do? I will. Just make sure that my if I got there, where's the elementary stuff there? Six. <clears throat> I'll probably work on um, the beta from now on for a while, so I might as well update this. We use that ISO to reboot, and I'll probably drop that old one there. So let's get rid of that. It's an old uh, quick AMU disk drive. Okay, as such. Right. So I just want to make sure quick EMU is up to snuff. Get the latest. So that should be all right then. Cool. Um, and then <clears throat> I'll just Do it in its own little terminal. And see if we can build it. So uh, now I've got to remember what the args are for quick game here. It's been a while. I think it's just VM. Yeah, that'll do. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> On elementary, um, there's like a permissions thing for uh, one of the dev uh, devices uh, for um, for virtualization. Uh, you need to fix it up. Fix dev KVM. It's my own little script for doing that. Right, let's see if this ins boots and installs. Oh. 
If it doesn't, then uh, we're in for a short video. I'm really only doing it because I've got all the elementary stuff on today. And I'm a bit tired. Can't be thinking about coding first thing this morning. Okay. Cool, oh, good stuff, right? So, English, United Kingdom. Let's see what this does. Does it have. Ah, well, that's not right. Ah, there we go. Everything's in the right place. That's what I expected. That's good. Try demo, clean install. We'll do a clean install. Yep. Raise and install. Data will be drive encryption, built in regularly. Okay. I don't really want to encrypt it. A, because this is in a VM, and B, it's like a um, just a dev. VM, I'm not putting anything uh, important in this VM, that's for sure. Right, I don't know how long this is going to take, so if it takes forever, then uh, obviously I might just cut this video, but we'll see. Well. It'd be interesting to see how many updates there are as well, because if it's been two weeks, there's probably a few updates. I wonder if um did the uh, yeah so the ISO was from the thirtieth of April as well so This is the first time I've seen this installer. Um, hopefully it does the job. It's nice and clean, that's for sure. Right, 85%. I wonder if there's a way for me to tell Quick EMU that uh, well, you know, there is actually a way to use a different resolution. I should probably have done that. So it was a bit bigger. All right, good news. Yeah, Metro 6 the access has been installed. Your device will automatically restart in 30 seconds. 
After restarting, you can set up a new user or you can shut down and set up a new user later. Okay. Oh, I think I'll just restart now, thanks. I'll give it a couple of seconds to see if it does actually reboot. But it looks like all those failures to unmount the CD well, which kind of expect really when uh, even VM that might have halted it. Five seconds then. Five, four, three, two, one. Die. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see if it comes up. Hmm. Let's hope this is actually the install now. Yeah, here we go. Full name, Ian M. Jones. Username, Ian. A super strong Password. Well, strong enough. Okay. Well, here we go. This pre release version of Android should not be used for production, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Welcome to elementary OX, basically, yep. Default or dark, I'm going to switch them in a minute. And colors, yep, that's good. I'm going to play, we'll play about with that later. Yeah, fine. I don't want the night light because I already have that um, on my machine. So um, that would just be a bit weird doing night light within night light. So I'll skip that. Yeah, clean up as you go along. Get some apps. You can sideload and browse apps. I don't think the app center is actually working yet, so. But not for the beta. Enjoy your mission. Okay. Oh, well, this is all right then. What I need to do though is pixel double, I think. So. Low DPI, high DPI. There we go. Much better. That's neat. Okay system now five eight blah 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 hardware yeah okay let's grab the updates while we're here so I'm presuming There's no third party stuff yet, so. So 
So it should be a bit Spartan. Yeah, that's fine. And I presume... Yeah. Basically, the um, App Store hasn't been enabled yet for beta, so... But I just want to do the updates while I'm here, and then reboot, and then do my... my... see if I can... Um, do my normal setup. And I'll do that in a uh, snapshot. I'll take a snapshot first. Um, and then uh, if it all goes horribly wrong, I can roll back and have another go. Okay. It's taking its time. That means there's either a lot. Why is struggling? I do have a bunch of stuff going on in the network, so that might be impacting that just a tad. I'm doing some other downloads and uploads at the moment, so. Hmm, that was a long time though. I think what I'll do is I'll just give it a quick reboot just to make sure. Use the other method this time. See what this does. Does it just open the App Store? Yeah. Here we go. Right, lots of updates. It's going to take a little while. Is the terminal going to update? Doesn't look like it. How many have we got? Quite a few things to be updated there. I think what I might do is just uh, do some basic setup. Um, that's not a great name, is it? <laughs> right, so what have we got? It's fine, okay. Just gonna go grab my certificates. Yeah, 
here. And so while those updates are still happening, I'll just get my uh, my dot files. Uh, right, so I can do the update. Yeah. Have we got Git though? Nope. Okay. Let's get Git. Ha. Ah, gonna have to wait. That's a good point. Can't do anything there, really. Cancel out that. Oh, that's nearly done. That'll be the bulk of the um, the download in there. And then presumably it will whip through the rest. There you go. There's lots of new shiny stuff in uh, Elementary 6 I'm looking forward to playing with. I'm going to play with tasks at some point, see how that works. And there's lots of polish, so... It'd be nice to have a little play at some point, but I need to do a little check of Snippet Pixie first. Okay. So that's done. Let's try this again then. Nope, oh, can't use uh, my usual Vim keys yet. Okay, blah, 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 yeah. Okay. I get my dot files. a chunk of uh, like uh, images and things in there that I use for backgrounds so it can take a little while once this is um, downloaded I'll shut down and um, take a snapshot and I'll use that as the base. I won't run my kind of installation stuff just yet. 
records. I suspect there might be issues because the libraries and things have changed because this is a brand new base compared to um, what I have been using. Because that moment elementary 5.1 is sort of uh, based on Ubuntu 18.04. Uh, Bionic, um, but this version is based on 2004 Focal, so just a couple of years of uh, extra updates and stuff to go there. Okay. Okay, right. Let's do a shutdown. Just clear them out first. Right, so quick AMU snapshot create and then a name Presume. yeah snapshot Create Yeah, we'll see what happens. Um uh, just call it what's the date today oh 13th Okay. Size zero bytes. Is that because there's no difference? No, in theory it's done. We'll see. Yeah, let's boot it again and have a go. Bit of annoying that. Okay, let's see what damage this is going to do then. 
this might all go horribly wrong. So actually, before I do that, I will just double check what I've got in my if I do a quick um, Quick look to see what they've got as the SDK name and stuff now. Okay, same. That's what I wanted to see. Fine. Well, I'm just going to wing it. Um, <laughs> I haven't actually looked at the developer uh, guide as such yet. Um, having said that, it's not going to do anything because... I haven't set up my updates for this machine yet, which has got a hide name, uh, which I want to change. Now, I think I'll just have to do it on the system, uh, as in not here, but I think I will have to um, just go update it manually. Because I don't think you can just change the name in settings. No. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to call it. I don't want to be calling this standard PCQ35 blah blah blah. Uh, so I think it's just like actually it's name or something, isn't it? Should just be host name. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just change that. Probably not the way to do it, but hey ho. Uh, we will do um L E to E. Six QMU. And now I'm going to want to do another <laughs> reboot uh, and a snapshot afterwards. Right, we'll just do a quick. <laughs> Let's just make sure that works. Yay, okay. Right. Um, actually, before I do that, I will quickly set up my little updates. I don't want much in here, so I'm 
I might just use that one. But I'll just quickly check. I think I've got lots in my desktop that I don't need in a VM. Yeah, don't need OBS, don't need a PDF scan in, don't need barrier running. So yeah, that looks good. Definitely don't need Lutris stuff. Okay. As elementary six Q M U. CLI desktop dev and elementary. Yep, I'm gonna need all that. If this is gonna be like my little test VM for building uh, snippet pixie and stuff. I'm just basically testing out elementary six, make sure all is well. Okay. Uh, right, so I haven't set everything up yet, so I haven't got my little shortcuts. That's fine. Yeah, I'm not going to commit that until I'm ready. So quick shutdown, snapshot, and then I will have a little see whether my normal packages and all that kind of stuff install OK on elementary six and then I will um, make sure that's all there and then I'll update uh, and see if I can actually run snippet pixie Let's doing that. Something must have been stuck. It will go in a few seconds. Okay. What did I change? Right then, moment of truth. So this is gonna install a whole bunch of stuff. It's gonna, in theory, in theory, it's gonna make sure that the packaging system is all in place for like snaps and stuff. It's then gonna install 
a whole bunch of apps and snaps, um, everything that I would normally have in a brand new machine. Uh, and then I'll, um, I'll see whether we can do snippet pixie building, but I have a feeling this might have problems because I've not done this on elementary six. Um, but here goes. Okay, that's fine. Just one update. Screenshot so far. Snap D. So that's all the basics updated, and now I'm actually starting to install stuff I need. So we've got Snap D coming in. Whole bunch of basic stuff there. I don't think I've seen any errors yet. Build essentials. Okay, so this is Rust coming in now. Uh, so just, yep, let's just build Rust. Well, download the Rust SDK. I've got a couple of... Oh, actually, I've only got the one now, I think. Um, I usually build um, Alacrity, my preferred terminal, uh, from scratch. Because I don't think there's a, like an easy to use um, dot deb or anything yet. I used to do a little bit of rust, but I don't like it. I went off it. I could not get a hold of the syntax. It's Super difficult to read. Right. Something flew by there. What was that? Oh, that's fine. Rust is installed, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, we're doing okay. Okay, the fonts, So that's more of our stuff there. So what section are we in? I guess we're in desktop, are we? Yeah. CLI is done. Yep. 
That's building. <laughs> so that's building alacrity at the moment, I think. So I'm in the like the desktop section of uh, my updates. That's a lot of dependencies, isn't it? It's amazing the amount of dependencies that come along for just like a square <laughs> on the screen. It does a heck of a lot behind the scenes. Same for any app, isn't it, really? When I mean, you think it just... Right. Okay, so it's Firefox. Chromium. So these are, the, see, I, I use Firefox as my main browser, but I have to have Chromium as well, just for testing when I'm doing web dev and stuff. Seeing as uh, whatever it is, like 70% of the world uses Chromium based web browsers. And what else? Um, Got quite a few things, I think. Firefox, Chromium, backup stuff now. Uh, see, I could have probably dumped that out to something else, so I'm not going to use that. But right, so there's a whole bunch of stuff here that I'm never going to use in this VM, but it's good to see whether it actually. actually works or not. Uh, what else are we going to be installing? We are going to be doing dev. Node, grunt, gulp, yep, go, Hugo, Elm, Cockroach, Snapcraft, LXD, yeah, all the good stuff. That's going to take a while. But the actual um, elementary specific stuff. the SDK. And then my um, dependencies for Snippet Pixie, and which that might be where it all go, goes a bit wrong. 
We'll see. I have to see what versions these things are. Hopefully those versions are generic enough that they're still valid. But I really don't know yet. It's been a while. I have built Snippet Pixie on Elementary 6. But it was a long time ago. It was like when the early access first came out. Um, which is probably, I don't know, what, almost a year ago. Um, and I have built it on Pine Book, Bro, Pine Book Pro as well, which is ARM based. And that worked as well. So, um, but quite a lot's changed since then. Okay, this is going to take a while by looks of things. Um, So I don't know whether whether I should hang around for this. I should probably just let it go in the background. And then maybe have a look at it this evening and see what it's doing. Whether it even finished. It's all passing so far though. Which is kinda amazing. I see and as I'm building installing and building all kinds of apps. I think what I'll do is I'll just let it run um, and then this evening I'll come back and uh, it'll probably finish in the next couple of minutes but I'm not going to be able to move on and do any stuff because I've got to start my work day um, so what I'll do is I'll uh, go off do my work day and then uh, this evening I will uh, check back and uh, see uh, whether it all worked or not. Right, so uh, until later, uh, because I'll probably just continue this later. Um, maybe maybe do it as a second part, or maybe just release two, two videos. Um, I will uh, speak to you later. Take care.